must say, you've had uh, quite a smashing career in advertising. Thank you. I like to think I could sell veal to a vegan. <laughs> Not a bad slogan, you can use that. So, you did your postgraduate work at Southern Methodist University? Yep, go meth or go home. <laughs> and you started out writing ad copy for Ogilvy and Mather. Loved Ogilvy, Mather was a little gropey. <laughs> okay. And then you were with BBDO in New York? Yep, I was VP BBDO NYC, R E S B E C T. <laughs> So why did you leave? To be completely honest, I was bored. I had knocked it out of the park so many times with the food campaigns, I got pigeonholed. I mean, sure, I'm, I'm proud of eggs. They're not just for breakfast anymore, but who wouldn't be? <laughs> Good heaven. That was you. It was a team, but yeah. <laughs> and from there, I went on to create beef. It's what's for dinner, pork, the other white meat, got milk, which, by the way, I pitched as a joke. <laughs> Fascinating. So why did you choose our agency? Honestly, you represent all the big players in Silicon Valley, and that's the future, and that's what I want to be part of. Well, I have to tell you, Miss Plunkett, I am very impressed. Thank you. You are the most spectacular liar I've ever met in my life. Excuse me? <laughs> I've been in the ad business for over 30 years now. You think I don't know who came up with uh, Not Just for Breakfast anymore? I said it was a team. <laughs> You are so pathologically shameless, I'm almost tempted to hire you. Well, as I told Nike, just do it. <laughs> Get out. Thank you for your time. Gee, if it repeats like a little too fast to be like, what? But other than that, man, it's dope as hell. You gotta check it out. Okay, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.